Okay, I got a new crock pot, and uh, what I really like about it is the uh, handles. It comes with a uh, locking lid, you know, so you get the locking lid mechanisms, and so I'm going to really like that a lot. Uh, you know, this is my old crock pot, and it's trying to put old glory out to rest, uh, out to pasture, if you will. It works great, and it's called the uh, crock, crock Pot Smart Pot, and it's really good at uh, setting things up electronically you know timers and stuff but it doesn't have the it doesn't have the latches for the lids and I do so much traveling with my crock pots that you know you think when you fill it up too much it just messes it up so gotta get the one with the lid uh, the locking lid and I got it so I'm gonna go ahead and do something for you and show you how it all works okay a couple of different features I noticed on the new crock pot that's not on the old one a place for your cord to go it wraps around here so that's awesome. It's not just dangling all the time like my other one was. And the second thing is this new invention here of all the crock pots I've had. I've never had one of these. And that's, uh, you know, when it releases it stops all your power. So that's just another safety feature. Works out great. So nothing keeps going on just because it's removed. Once you pull the pie out of there, it's the end of it. So it works out great. So, so far I'm real happy with this thing. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Keep going over there. Oh, a couple more things I wanted to show you. One, uh, this is my old, my old one from my old crock pot, and then there's the new one, and they're about the same. I mean, this one here fits inside the new, uh, new one, and so they are interchangeable. They're not the exact same design. You can see the difference between there. It has uh, nice little handles right here. This one doesn't have that, so the new one's not as cool that way, but it's different. You know, it has a little bit wider here and here instead of having the handles on the sides. And uh, then the lid itself is fitting right there on the old one, and it fits on the new one too. So the uh, old lid fits on both, so they're pretty much the same design. There's not a big difference between them. Um, the new one, though, wow. Again, what we talked about is having the uh, locking lid, which makes it nice for transport. It has a little vent hole. That makes it extra nice. And then uh, it fits on the old one also. So that's the old pot, it sits right on it, and so they really are technically the same design. And uh, man, snug, ooh, just like sitting on there. That's great. And uh, so here's our new one. Fits in there nice and snug. And uh, real nice, I don't know, I kind of like the other one better, but anyway, <laughs> it fits on there nice and snug, and once you lock it in, you're set. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's nice, it has the rubber. Uh, that edge right there is rubber all the way around, and so it's a nice seal. So when it goes on and seals, it just makes a real tight seal. That's real nice. Whereas the old one, you know, no rubber, just stainless steel and glass, and it wasn't, couldn't really seal. I mean, you know, it sealed somewhat, sealed good enough, but not really for transporting, you know. So now it has the uh, not only the locking mechanisms, but also the rubber seal to keep it all contained instead of in your car. I do a lot of potlucks and, and things like that and you really want to have it not be worried about hitting a corner or going over a curb or stopping suddenly and having this stuff spill all over the place all over your seats or whatever. Anyway, so this works out fantastic. Well, there you have it. Uh, so it's real nice. I'm going to go ahead and cook a meal in it and uh, go, I'll go ahead and share that with you too. But as far as the crock pot is concerned, it all fits real nice. I mean, these, these locking mechanisms really work nice. I mean, that is tight as a drum there. You can feel it when you go to seal it. It, goes, it seals right up with all that cool rubber and stuff on there. It makes it really nice. And you just pop the lid and off it goes. You know, you're ready to, ready to rock and roll. So that's fantastic. really like it so far. I'll go ahead and make a meal and tell you how it okay, works. Okay, a couple of the features here on the new crock pot is uh, as we talked about the locking lid. Um, it has this little rest also, a little rest area. So it's not just dangling all the time. It actually you just push it back here and it rests right there. We move it around. Um, as you can see, it just doesn't, doesn't fall off there. And then it's ready to be latched on. Okay, so it has a nice little rest area instead of just dangling like you would think. It might just be dangling there all the time. It actually has a little spot you can put it there. Okay, then uh, on the timer, this thing's set up as a uh, um, push the button. And you can see we got uh, it's on, and then we select it what, what we want to do. So, if we want four hours, um, and then 
six. Those are on high. So four and six are both high. And then if you want low, it's eight hours or ten hours. And then it goes automatically to warm when it's finished with whatever you set it at. Okay? This travel temperature had nothing to do with the food itself, and you don't use it as such. It just lets you know that how hot it is, and how, how hot the mixture is inside here. It's kind of like a, just a gauge telling you how hot it is. So if you keep the lid tightly uh, closed, if you keep the lid tightly closed after you're done cooking it, it'll still remain hot. It's supposedly got uh, better engineered stoneware to retain the heat, and then with the locking lid, just it helps it that much more. And so it keeps it in there, and you can tell how hot your food is here by the gauge, um, you know, somewhat anyway. It works better than nothing. And so just a, a gauge to, to let you know without using a different kind of monitor. Okay? Okay, a couple more things. One being this, uh, again, wrapping the cord. So that's a really cool extra feature. Not just a dangling cord. It has this little latch right there to keep it uh, hooked on to the cord. So that makes it real nice. The second thing is um, don't... Uh, when you go to do your cooking, uh, this has a little air thing, you know, so it vents it, so that's cool, venting. But never latch these things. Don't latch these while you're cooking, okay? Uh, it makes it super strong, super tight. It's not designed for that. It's designed to vent uh, while you're cooking, and not, this is not enough of a vent to do that. So I want to make sure I clarified that in case somebody got the wrong impression about this vent. This vent is just simply to keep it... Uh, Vented, you know, per se, when you're using traveling around, not while you're, uh, you don't want to seal it up completely like this. Okay? So keep this unlatched while you're cooking. Alright, just keep it sitting here on the resting spots and do your cooking like normal. When you're done with the meal and ready to travel, you latch it and this keeps it vented. And then uh, you can tell how hot your meal is. Lots of times when you bring these crock pots to a uh, place, you want to plug it right in. And to keep it warm, but here because of the new improved stoneware supposedly, you know it doesn't seem like any different than the old stoneware, but supposedly it's a little bit designed a little bit better, and it retains heat. And then plus your locking lid keeps it uh, retains heat. Then by the tr during the traveling, uh, you can see it's still hot. Okay, so supposedly a much better system. We'll find out.